Okay, Legends, I am back with yet another video about our beloved series. It's action-packed, it's dramatic, it's impossibly anticipating, it's Cobra Kai. Now, if you haven't already checked out my previous videos about me addressing predictions for Cobra Kai, such as what Terry Silver did to Kumiko, or Cobra Kai Endgame predictions, or how Mr. Miyagi and Mr. Kim Sun Ung are actually connected, then I'd highly recommend checking out those bad boys because, not my opinion, but according to the comments, they're great videos. But today, we are not talking about the coming episodes of Season 6. No, sir. Today, we are talking about the origins of Cobra Kai, about exactly what I think inspired this incredible production into fruition. Because let's face it, Karate Kid wrapped up in the 90s. How is it it took 28 years to bring Cobra Kai to our screens and into our hearts? How was this genius even thought up at such a late point? I don't know about you, but I have asked myself this question more than once and I believe I now have the answer. And another question I plan to answer is why did they write it with Johnny at the helm as our favourite character? Considering we just spent the past 28 years believing Johnny Lawrence aka William Zapka to be the bad guy. Well it has something to do with how I met your mother. Just to be clear I'm talking about how I met your mother the sitcom the TV show not how I met your mother as in your mother, just to make sure that we're, that's all clear. Now, for those who have not seen the sitcom How I Met Your Mother, I highly recommend that you do. It's hilarious and it's one of my all-time favourites. But there is a very specific episode that I truly believe with all of my core that inspired Cobra Kai and inspired the change in narrative as Johnny Lawrence being the hero of the story rather than the blonde bully that we remember. So let me explain. Now, in this episode, there is a character by the name of Barney Stinson, a charming, self-centered, suave, sociopathic womanizer who, amongst all else, is just a bit backwards when it comes to perspective on pretty much any given subject. Now, throughout the season and the series, he references our beloved movie franchise, The Karate Kid. It's deemed to be his favorite movie because of how much he talks about it, right? But to him, The Karate Kid was the Karate Kid, the kid who was serious about karate, the All-Valley champion, the karate practitioner, aka Johnny Lawrence. Daniel LaRusso was just some annoying little weasel who came to town and moved in on his turf and cheats at the All-Valley contest and wins in his perspective. So that sounds quite familiar, doesn't it? Well, it gets better because in How I Met Your Mother Season 8, Episode 22, the bar mitzvah. I've listed it for you guys. Barney's friends organise his bachelor party, or stag do for the fellow Britannic patrons out there watching, which appears to be a disaster as they invited the karate kid, but just the wrong one. See, this is where Ralph Macchio appears, aka Daniel LaRusso, as himself, as the actor, only to be a bit dumbfounded when he finds out that Barney Stinson doesn't exactly roll out the welcome mat. But it's all good, as later it's revealed that this is all one huge elaborate prank orchestrated by Robin, his fiance. Now, Ralph Macchio, aka Daniel LaRusso, really gets on Barney's nerves throughout the course of the evening, and Barney reciprocates by expressing his opinion and his love for Johnny Lawrence, the real karate kid, William Zapka. Funny enough, in the background, there appears to be a silent cloud who keeps sharing Barney's opinion to this, keeps nodding his head, keeps agreeing with everything that Barney says in support of Johnny Lawrence. Now, this is where the twist really begins twisting. Later on in this episode, Barney reveals his frustration to his friends at just how poorly they organise his bachelor party, referencing, you even invited the wrong karate kid. At this moment, the silent clown begins to take off his disguise, revealing himself as William Zapka, aka Johnny Lawrence. Now, William Zapka, who plays our beloved Johnny Lawrence in The Karate Kid, and of course Cobra Kai, and then Ralph Macchio, who plays Daniel LaRusso, both make guest appearance in the same room, in the same episode, in the same show, adding both humour and nostalgia 
to the episode. Now, what is unique about this episode? Well, firstly, for the first time, we hear this very unique perspective that Johnny Lawrence was not the bad guy. Johnny Lawrence was the good guy. This is the first time we've seen it this way. Second, we see a very douchey side to Daniel LaRusso, or William Zapka, I guess, sowing the seeds of his arrogance and ego, which, in my opinion, the writers of the show really, really emphasize in Cobra Kai's earlier seasons. Daniel is not the guy that we remember. He is, he is an arrogant man. He is a very, very cocky dude. And I think this theory really adds weight to that. Now, third, it reignites the tension after 20 years plus between Johnny Lawrence and Daniel Russo on the screen for the first time. We thought the Karate Kid was over, but How I Met Your Mother brought them back into the same room and reignited the fire of who is the true Karate Kid. Now, this renewed popularity and a positive reception to the, these nostalgic references, which likely contributed to the cultural momentum that actually helped lead to the development and inspiration of Cobra Kai. Now, I want to be very, very transparent. I've done quite a bit of research on this, and I cannot find a single official link that confirms or acknowledges the inspiration from the creators of Cobra Kai related to this episode or this show. But I think this show indeed is what inspired the inspiration around creating Cobra Kai. Because after all, Cobra Kai started out painting the exact picture that this episode of How I Met Your Mother did. Johnny being innocent and Daniel being the one who was actually a bit of a bully or at least that's a, that's the perspective of Johnny Lawrence but that's how the show runs with it they run from this idea of Johnny being the victim Johnny being the guy who got screwed over Johnny being the guy who basically wasn't the bully but someone who was simply defending himself and there it is that's what I think inspired the show of Cobra Kai after 28 years. Now, I'd love to hear your opinion on this. I'd like to hear if you've seen How I Met Your Mother, specifically Season 8, Episode 22, The Bro Mitzvah. If so, comment below, let me know your thoughts, and if you have any other ideas on what inspired this incredible show. Until the next video, my friends, I will see you then. Bye-bye.